Let's look at the maxima and minima of a quadratic function. Consider a quadratic function as given in this form, where a, b, and c are constants. If a is negative, then the graph of the function is a parabola that is concave downward, as shown. The slope of the tangent line to the function is equal to its first derivative. For value of a, being less than zero. Note that the second derivative of the quadratic function is also negative. Observe that at the maximum point, the slope of the tangent line is zero. Therefore, the first derivative of the function is zero at that point. Note, for a being positive, the second derivative of the quadratic function is also positive. And the graph of the function, in this case is concave upward, as shown. Again the first derivative is zero at the turning point of the function. And in this case, this is the minimum point as shown. Now let's consider some exam questions. A quadratic function is given, find the maximum point of the function. Using calculus, we can set the first derivative equals zero, in order to find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. And the negative second derivative will ensure that the vertex is the maximum point. Let's find the first derivative. Set this equal to zero and find the value of x. Now substitute this into the given equation, in order to find the corresponding y value. Finally we found the coordinates of the turning point of the parabola, as shown. Note that the second derivative is negative. Therefore the turning point is a maximum point as shown. Let's look at another exam question. Find coordinates of the minimum point of this function. Again, follow the same steps as earlier. Set the first derivative equals zero. And make sure that the second derivative is positive this time. Let's find the first derivative. Now set this equal to zero, and find the value of x. In order to find the corresponding y value, put this x value into the given equation. Finally, we have found the turning point of the parabola. Since the second derivative is positive, therefore the turning point is a minimum point, as shown.